Welcome! In this short video I want to show you simple ways of making architectural models, sketch models. This is just to show you how easy this can be and how fast you can do this. I'll do this with a fictional design brief for Market Square in Groningen, the Ossemarkt, which you see here. And I want to make three types of models. I want to make a situation model of the context of the square itself, some sketch models of volumes of the massing, and then two simple architectural models. You see, for the situation model, I start with a very simple aerial view. I take it from Google and I uh, make sure I scale it, uh, in this case, to one to 500. So I have the right scale. There is a canal along the, the market square. So I want to show this water. So I, I, I want to show the height difference. So I use a foam base, a foam board of five millimeters. Cut out the water of the aerial view, cut out the water of the foam base, attach the foam base to the aerial view. So now I have the water in my situation model. I add colored paper for the wet water. Perhaps in hindsight I would have taken off the, the white edges, would have been looking a little bit more neat, but okay. Now I want to show the facades around the market square and I'm going to do this in a very simple way. So I, I take a three view, eye height uh, perspective and I just uh, guess how high the buildings are more or less um, on average. And I think they're about 12 meters. So scale 1 to 500 that would be 24 millimeters. For the facades I cut a long strip and I fit these strips to the aerial view like you see me doing here. You see me using the, the square division on the cutting mat to cut straight corners and sometimes also to measure. This is a quick way of, of making uh, things to measure. If you have to cut thick cardboard, do multiple passes with your cutter. Don't try to cut thick cardboard in one go. Cutting the strips halfway through helps me in, in making uh, the bends, the corners. And you see here, just with simple, simple wood glue, I glue the cardboard to the base. You can go more fancy, make actual volumes, make actual masses with foam or cardboard, but in this case I just make the facades. And you see me also not gluing not putting the glue directly from the pot to the material but I first put glue on a scrap of paper and then dip my workpiece into this uh, in the glue on this uh, uh, on this scrap um, which makes it much more controllable the, around the amount of, uh, of glue. Well and there you have it. In reality in six minutes I've made a, a context model, a situation model. So now I can go on with my sketch models for the massing or the volumes of the building I want to design. So I switch to the foam cutter. I get foam, which you have uh, blue like the one I use here. Got it also in white color or in pink. And you see the foam cutter is a, is a very quick way of making different volumes. So it's, it's a very straightforward and direct method of directly designing in three dimensions. And you see it before your eyes. It's trial and error. You can use the fence, which you can just adjust the fence on the foam cutter. But you can also cut freehand. If you want to make special shapes, um, maybe it's a good idea to cut a template. But here I do the circular template with scissors. I fix it to the foam and I use it to cut a, a nice circle. You see me backtracking on the foam cutter and this is, this is not a good idea. It leaves uh, ugly marks on the foam, but okay, I, uh, I should have been more precise. You can cut inclined or sloping surfaces to your foam by just tilting the foam when cutting it and still using the fence. So here, in a very simple way and very quickly, I made three different solutions for my, uh, for my building design and I can directly try it out in the positioning on the side model. So the ne next step will be to elaborate two of these masses into little sketch models for building proposals. 
still the same scale, 1 to 500, so it's quite small for an architectural model. Just to show you how quickly you can make a little building. So I move back to my cutting mat again and I start, I decide to, to want to make glass volume, so I start with a transparent sheet of plastic. I cut strips, I cut little lines but not completely through to make bends again, just like with the cardboard. You see me making two rectangular glass volumes. I add a base out of cardboard. And a simple roof. And I already prepared sandpaper spray painted green to represent grass. Sandpaper can be a nice uh, material. Uh, maybe just would be better to cut it from the back side because your cutter blade blunts very quickly on uh, sandpaper. But here you see me making a little piece of grass on the situation. Well, maybe I'm not completely satisfied so I want to experiment a little bit with the roof shape. I take a, a piece of cardboard again and make cuts to make sloping surfaces in the roof. You see, I can, I can experiment very quickly again. And then uh, maybe not everything has to be transparent, so I also add a part of a closed facade with an opening for doors in it. Okay, now to the other model. I also want to make the circular building. The idea of which you might recognize from some of the other videos. A building in Japan. I just uh, use this idea of this building to try it out here for a smaller building. Again, this is quite straightforward, but I use the, the strip of uh, the transparent plastic sheet, cardboard to make a roof, and also cardboard to make a square base for it. I got some square holes in this roof. And I add a volume in one of these square holes made from cardboard. And I still had this uh, uh, green sandpaper. So why not try a green roof in this little mass to see how it, how it works. Well, I now have a situation model. I had foam massing to try this out and I have two architectural models and I can play around with them to see whether they work or not. The situation model cost me 12 minutes to make. The six, uh, sorry, the three foam masses took me six minutes and then each of the architectural models took me 15 minutes. So to make in total six models took me less than 15, 50 minutes. So I hope this shows you how easy you can use sketch models and how, how much insight they give you in your own design and how well they work for, for trying out alternative solutions. And I would encourage you to do the same in your own design project you're working on right now. Thanks for watching this video.